Alright, hello everyone and this is Miguel 9398 For today, I would like to talk about Friday Night Funkin' once again on Game Banana and discuss basically the upcoming um, mods and as well as, you know, what actually happened So this is actually, on, this is actually unique uh, only f uh, exclusive for um, Friday Night Funkin' by the way because if I go to Smash Bros Ultimate there is no upcoming or approved mods. You may wonder why is that? Well, could you get, could you actually take a guess, take a wild guess why Friday Night Funkin' have pending mods while other titles don't have? Other popular titles like Smash, Team Fortress, and others don't have those? Hmm? Come on, I'm waiting. Actually, not just only that, but also Sonic mods as well. Like, not only Sonic 3 Air, but any Sonic mods as well. Uh, will also get approved in upcoming mods. So, here we go. Let me explain. So, let's say, um, there's a lot of submissions that are really crappy. A lot of submissions made by new submitters with very unique, you know, mods. And with many people making very great mods many you know managers and moderators and admins have to approve all of them and then what happens is that it'll pile up and create this whole lot of mess 1422 but that's not the final number as you can see they got 3296 pending so combine that with the number that is almost i no that is literally um 5,000 I mean nearly 5,000 probably I don't know <laughs> but yeah there's and uh, including withheld mods as well this includes withheld mods so there's like over 5,000 you know submissions on the Friday Night Funkin section so let's take a look um, right here I'm not sure wait 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 so here in the game banana, I think they posted it um, somewhere here. Yeah, right here. They introduced this two days ago. Um, four days ago, I was actually making a video uh, talking talking about you know the pending, and and explaining why moderators uh, decided to accept some low quality, low effort mods and later you know flag them for being low quality. But since this already fixed up a little bit, I guess. So I think it's fine. So here in this post, pending submission have been renamed to upcoming submissions and the area has been improved to appear more like the game homepage. The main game page only for games that have pending queues have been renamed to approved submissions. Upcoming submissions can now be liked, they still can't be featured, and points do not get awarded until they get approved. Ultimately, we're currently fighting a losing battle trying to moderate the FNF submissions, uh, submission queue as submissions are being added faster than we can go through them. As such, this change has been made to try to alleviate uh, the issues of being stuck in a 3,000 long submission queue, um, 3,000 long submission queue, instead trying to turn it into a more permanent area where Submissions may stay for quite some while. The game managers, moderators, and admins will still be moderating the list, withholding rule-breaking submissions, removing the very low-quality submissions, and approved, approving mods that are of high quality. Friday Night Funkin' continues to push our site with unprecedented challenges, and we continue to have to adapt. But we hope with everyone's patience, we will manage to end up with uh, with all uh, end up with it. Uh, all running smoothly so yeah here's the thing about this kind of idea they all not only they uh, enable you know users to gain points by you know by submitting mods uh, for night funkin mods but also the more likes you'll get uh, in your pending or upcoming mods the more likely your mod or mods will be accepted automatically by the system. So I had a little concern about that, so I made this comment. I'm not too sure about the more likes get 
uh, gets approved automatically thing what if someone grouped together to like one of their friends' mods that are low effort or low quality and later get accepted by the system knowing people they always look for a workaround to break the system like accidentally submit their fnf mods to the wrong game section and let a moderator or admin to transfer that to the right section and gets automatically approved i don't like this kind of attitude uh, that these newcomers you know thought of i'm pretty sure for uh, newcomers already watching this video i'm sorry but your method of you know submitting mods in the wrong game section isn't actually good this is literally against you know site rules if i to say the least hmm so i also um i also take a took a little research on and also observing you know some newcomers uh who submit who submitted fahrenheit funkin mods as well and i realized if you click add idea oh shoot i'm not i didn't mean that um if i go here click the add button in friday night funkin you notice that there are two you know sections right here i don't know if i could just call it sections or column or role i don't care so here's the miscellaneous sections and the categories now what newcomers thought is that the miscellaneous sections are a part of the mod sections that's what they thought same goes to returning you know returning accounts who haven't used game banana for a long time but never actually used the miscellaneous section before this is how they do it okay so let's say uh, i'm a friday night funkin modder i don't know how to install mods uh oh, here it is it says idea it says suggestions and complaints so i'll click this right here and it brings me to this um, lovely, lovely, you know, page. It says, add idea. And here's the difference. You'll take a look at this area. It says ideas. If I bring, if I go here, it'll bring me to the idea section. It is not part of the Friday Night Funkin' section. Now, while if I add the game file right here, you'll see that there's a background and also it matches game file. And if, I, and if I go to the game file, it will redirect to me to the game files for, well, everyone. Every, you know, game files in, in the, in, on the website. But you can tell, uh, you can notice the difference, right? This one has a background. And if you go to ideas, this one don't have a background. Hmm. Now, what's odd about it or what's strange about it is that it still bring up uh, brought up this um, message uh, manager message before submitting mods right here and it's kind of baffled me like wow how how on earth uh, is a game section message like this in a different you know in a different um, section now I'll tell you how so apparently how the site works probably is that if you click add um if you click the add button here it'll just copy this link if you do if you remove this you only get the select game option so how this works is that basically if you um wait 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 friday night pumpkin oh my god there's literally a lot see as you can see there are literally some fnf shenanigans f f f and f but it's worse f of <laughs> so this one is the legit one by the way so here friday night funkin so this is how it actually works all right so if you select a game here it'll redirect you to the select section but however you'll still have miscellaneous and categories you know being uh, which are actually separate um, you know selection and not related to and not related to the game section except for categories I think it's actually related to uh, related to game section um, if I uh, maybe maybe but miscellaneous it doesn't actually you know relate to the game section so if I say go back to ideas right here 
it'll still give me this error uh, this message so let's say um smash brothers ultimate i'll give uh not smash brothers sorry sonic 3 i'll copy the game id for both smash and sonic 3 so let's start with sonic 3 first copy this do this bam now you may think that oh it's nothing but this we're, but we're in the sonic 3 section now same goes to smash brothers right here so how this site works is that uh, how this you know idea section works is that after selecting the game uh, you choose and then select game or click the yeah button uh, and if you click you know any of the stuff it will still copy the game ID and the, of course the actual game ID of the game to the next section so let's say here click game and as you can see oh I'm trying to add a new game, but however, this seem, it seems to be a part uh, or a separate part of Friday Night Funkin'. So I could just create like um, Friday Night Fucking. Yes, eighteen plus. <laughs> uh, there we go, and then you can just put an image of a penis or something. <laughs> I'm not literally gonna, you know, I'm not literally gonna submit a mod. Don't worry, I'm not gonna click submit. But as you can see, this is that this is a problem. <laughs> this is actually a problem. So clicking any of the section, uh, clicking any of the sections, it will still gonna copy this um, this hypertext right there. So here, go to game files, bam. But if I remove this. It will just bring me to you know a normal game file you know add game file and you can select which game you're gonna put and something so yeah that's how the site works that's how the site works and it's kind of odd uh, to say the least so my so that's my suggestion that's my idea remove miscellaneous section and categories in the select section However, two two people, twenty two percent, actually undecided for this decision because they say, "No, keep this, keep this. I don't care if people are gonna keep submitting, you know, ideas or stuff, as long as the important stuff should stay." Mm, that's what they thought. So in the end, um, in the end, one of the admins uh, decided or considered considers removing miscellaneous section from the game select section so this is good job good job so so I've seen so this is literally what I explained all right people have used the idea session uh, people thought that the idea section is part of the Friday Night Funkin section because that's how it works that's how the site works I mean that's how the system works because they just copy paste you know the game ID to the add link right there so you'll get this uh, message right there even though this is not related to Friday Night Funkin at all so yeah but however I have two or three um, options for this uh, proposal so the first one is remove I already mentioned remove both the miscellaneous and category section so that people, newcomers, won't mislead to submit suggestions and complaints um, in, in the ideas section. Even though the ideas section's purpose is to submit um, website ideas or, or, you know, suggestions or even complaints about it. So yeah, that's how this idea section works. Now, as for categories, I also considered removing it as I also thought of removing it as well, but I also thought of moving the category section um, only to the you know only to the in a skin category like when you first add a skin and stuff. I um, mean, not only a uh, skin. Let's say GUI. Click here. Um, if I scroll down, you can add a uh, category. There's no category in GUI, huh? So let's say game file. That's that's even better. So here, game file. 
so let's say um there is no week eight so i'll just have to click here and add week eight if i want so yeah it's like that that's the idea now the second idea that i have thought i mean the second proposed idea is improve the select section page or have the other section a part of the game section which kind of relates to the comment down below but later on i'm gonna show it to you later on so what i meant is that have ideas you know a part of the friday night funkin you know section not only just that but also to every 1000 plus um games being submitted here on the website by the way so i know this is a little bit of a hassle so yeah i don't know but here's the third one which i'm gonna show it to you here they shouldn't be removed but rather restrict to the game banana section which that's also my plan for the second one uh to say the least well the easy way the easiest way to improve your idea will be to remove them from every other game and make them exclusive to the game banana section by game banana section they mean this one maybe i don't know oh my god i don't think so honestly since the game banana section kind of treats itself like um kind of treats itself like you know a game other than you know being just a lobby <laughs> so i don't think this is a good idea to actually restrict the rest of the miscellaneous section to them but maybe i don't know maybe i could be i don't know it could be so now that we're all talking about you know the ideas and stuff and people are already mad sus um with friday night funkin man 17 minutes talking about this now anyways right now we're gonna talk about upcoming mods also known as bad shit mods here we go let's go so we're not gonna play all these mods i'm not gonna play i'm just gonna judge them based on their screenshots based on the quality of the mods based on the screenshots and how they describe the mod developer info included and credits as well and lastly lastly if it's a game file or something make sure it has video proof if there's no video proof or video evidence then trash it okay trash it or withheld it so let's start with fnf but purple now this mod um it's friday night funkin but purple there's really nothing much more to it so basically it's just changing every palette into you know purplish hue color uh it's actually interesting uh, honestly now my only concern uh, my only complaint is that there's still some you know original outlines right there he did not actually turn everything purple uh, <laughs> but that's just me i know real like the purple girlfriend color right there purple shoes purple shirt purple hair what is this man behind the slaughter here we go oh there they are <laughs> when when the man when the man is being sus bandana anyways so everything is purple except for the gooey so i i think it's highly explain it's highly, highly understandable but why there's a red that's not good it should be purple oh my god sorry um this mod looks kind of great um for the screenshots by the way i'm not gonna play like i said i'm not gonna play it's gonna take a long time for me to download them install them uninstall them so on so forth you may be saying why not just use the mod loader i could but i'm too lazy and i don't have enough time to record another video all right i just want to finish this off i want i just want to release all the stress all the pressure all the madness from the friday night funkin community oh my god i don't like them at all I mean, fan but fandom i don't like you know being a part of a fandom or actually uh something you know with a fandom i don't like au's i don't like ocs i mean i mean, don't like you know ocs that are furries i don't like ocs that are literally just a copy of 
the characters and stuff. Like, there is no literal original characters. <laughs> I mean, what my, my complaint is that I don't like OCs that are actually almost identical to the original source. Uh, that's the thing. If it's actually based on an avatar of a video game, or well, that's fine. That's fine. Like, you can customize your avatar whatever you like. That's why my uh, my username and my OC is based on my RuneScape account. All right. Still have my RuneScape. Still not membered. So yeah. So I guess this one is seems to be fine. But another concern, uh, another complaint is that the credits need to be fixed. One, you need uh it, this one is actually fine. But at least just you know select your account. Don't just leave a blank text, you know. Two, the guy who made the game, don't don't say that. Just search. You you literally know where to download Friday Night Funkin'. You literally know who the author is. If you don't know and you just blindly download the mod, or I mean, that blindly download the game, go back to the you know the Friday Night Funkin' you know link where you download Friday Night Funkin' base game. And and it's you, and then just copy the you know the developer's name. That's it. That's how you're gonna do it. So this that's just it. Uh, I think this is okay, since literally this is just a purple aesthetic, and it's fine. It's fine. This is a fine mod. I think it needs a little you know improvement with the screenshots, uh, previews, and also the credits. Uh, once you're all done with them, you may be accepted. Next, Mershark's Monster. So this one is an edit of Lemon Demon. So turns the monster into a Tumblr sexy man. Design is based on a fan art of mine. So. Again, you already know how to you know, give credits because you literally just credit one modder. But literally, just type in your username properly, click your username, and then you're able to, you know, poof, done. That's it. You don't have to be too narcissistic to say, me, I drew this. Everyone knows that. <laughs> now, la and lastly, special thanks, just uh Danny, I think this seems to be his IRL of best friends. I don't think it's necessary uh, to include them in the credits, but yeah, I uh, me being hypocrite because I also credit people uh, from Discord and other you know communities as well. <laughs> At least I did not mention their names. That's a difference, huh? I did not mention uh oh, my best friend Harry, my best friend Rolf, huh? <laughs> No, I did not do it. Although his idea is kind of good. Oh my god, this drawing is so good. I think this deserves to be, you know, uh, to be uh, to be approved as well. So yeah, I tested skin, tried to do the monster song, it didn't work. Is there a bug? Um, I mean, the monster song itself doesn't work properly. I heard it will get fixed in the next update. So this goes over monster on I think week two. Oh wait no, this is week four. I mean week five. Sorry, the hol the Christmas um update. Such a cute you know cute concept. Should approve. Next draws mod and troll face over Zardi. So this one draws mod, um uh, one um. One manager. Um, decided to vote it as trashed because who the hell is Dross? No one knows Dross mod. Now here's the thing. If you're gonna promote, if you're gonna make a mod base of local, you know, local celebrities from your country, make sure you put some info about it. We don't want to search who the hell is Dross in Google search. If you're Mexican or Spanish, I don't care who they are. If they're YouTubers, at least, at least, just at least, put their names on it. Put their, put their channel in the description. Put, 
their actual channel in the credits okay this is lackluster but it seems that Joss uh, is a youtuber um, uh, with 21.2 million subscribers from what is this um, Le Mejores Historias de Ted Terror Ahora en su formato sonora This is actually Espanol already hmm? Para consultar las empresas uh, empresariales, uh, of course, the emails. Si quieres darme ideas para videos en top en top so pasarme links, utiliza, uh, utiliza. Uh, of course. Yeah, this is actually Argentinian, so Spanish. I think Argentina is Spanish. Um, It's Argentine, yeah, it's Spanish. It's a Spanish speaking country located in South America. Por favor, mm, could you at least credit who the, who's the person is in your mod? This will be get trashed if you don't actually properly edit this. Hermoso. Oh my god. So yeah, it should be trash or withheld. I don't think it's being trash because you know, unrecognizable is. I think withheld because this, this seems to be a little lackluster, and it seems to have a little bit of good you know editing for Daddy Dearest. By the way, since this is literally just an a texture edit of Daddy Dearest. Yeah, literally just uh, literally a texture for Daddy Dearest. Mi libro, Luna de Pluton. No, joda. Friday Night Funkin', VS Draws. Oh my god. I don't care. But, yeah. Now, let's take a look at file info. So, it's all assets, so it's fine. So, withheld. It should be withheld. Next is Trophies over Zardi. Um... It seems to be liked by Tom. Now credits are okay, since he also he also credited um Swanky Box. Good job. Mm. Azardi mod made to reskin Zardi with Trollface, which also comes with an executable for the mod, so you don't need to drag and drop. Have fun with this cringe mod uh, made by Radek with this guy. So, complaints? This one. It seems to be blurred than the other sprites. This one is, I, I, guess, I guess this is intentional, sure. Because this is supposed to be RTX, or not RTX. It's supposed to be a realistic drawing of the troll lord. But for this one, please fix your, oh my god, fix the, you know, the head a little bit and to fix that by the way um you have to uh, if you're using photoshop just select nearest neighbor um uh, if you're going to scale things up so get the original image downscale it make sure it's in the nearest neighbor and all right you're good to go so overall this seems to be a nice mod uh to say the least since this is just a mod within a mod and me personally I don't really like you know these kind of mods like a mod over a mod it's like you know project M all over again like having different you know having a mod pack based on the build of this mod pack but however this mod pack is based on the build of a of the original vanilla version of the game and this of the original version of the final game is based on a previous, you know, engine of the game of the last game and stuff. <laughs> it's like that. It's I don't really like that kind of concept of, you know, modifying a mod to put another mod in it. I don't like that concept. But overall, uh, for this one, it seems to be well made, honestly. So, good job. Next, um, mid fight masses. I'm not sure if I could actually, you know, show this kind of stuff. 
So mid fight mass is hard rechar uh, recharted. Um, in case if the mod, uh, if the songs are copyrighted, I have to mute it because you know how YouTube works. They'll copyright stuff because they just don't like people use someone else's music. So for recharted, recharted of worship. Uh, wait, wait. Worship and perish on hard mode. The rest are a work in progress. Now here's the thing. This is a problem. It says work in progress. And it's and this person submitted it as like a final product. I don't think this is a good idea to submit a unfinished work. Um, uh, you know, release an unfinished work. And <coughs> Uh, in the in the public or something. My God, my internet's slow or something. God damn it! My internet's goddamn slow. Okay, so now we're back. Um. So it seems to be you know just a game file that changes the charts or something I don't know what charts are but I don't think this should be oh wait wait mid fight it says mid fight right eerie chart okay So I don't know the context for this. Is it like the original version is bad, and this guy actually fixed this mod? If it's the if it if that's the case, I don't think submitting it as a separate you know mod would be a b good idea. I guess maybe perhaps include that to the actual mid fight masses mod uh, as a fix. Like it, it's not a good idea to actually release a separate version unless. The creator of the original mod allows it, right? So, so I don't think this should be, you know, this should be as a separate mod, but rather it should be like a part of the original one. So, Servente. I don't know who Servente is, we never even tried. Don't judge me. If I don't play the games and stuff, I don't want to, you know. So, yeah, I guess having that mod isn't a, you know, isn't a good, uh, having that mod, you know, publicly submitted isn't a good way or a good idea at all. So, probably trash unless, you know, you just have to send that file to the original and maybe he'll reconsider it so yeah i think this one will be stay next one is friday night fertility i don't know what this means so we made every friday night funky characters pregnant for no other reasons except we thought it would be funny except skin and pump because i don't like the implication for of that my friend toby helped a whole bunch with this so everyone says th say thank you toby he doesn't have any social media, so you can only just pretend to give him a kiss, fortunately. We still have to fix some stuff, the dad specifically, and we plan to update this and we finish more sprites. But I hope you enjoy um, what we made so far. We Disclaimer, we do not have a pregnancy fetish. Liar, you do have a pregnancy fetish because literally this is what you make. You're just making everyone fat. How about girlfriend? Why is she not pregnant? How dare you? <laughs> or the background demons? Why are they not fat? How dare you? Literally, you're having you literally have a pregnancy fetish. Just admit it, all right? If if you don't like the implication of having you know kids, you know being pregnant, then why also have a literal kid, a high schooler kid, being pregnant as well? I don't know if uh, Pico is a high schooler or actually elementary. I don't know the original Newgrounds, you know, animations or the story or the plot about it. But anyways, 
you're still implying shit like that what is this the deviant art shut the up <laughs> This mod is, and then there's another thing. I don't think this is a better idea to actually release unfinished mods as well. This mod isn't currently finished, but we plan to do everyone in the future. Mostly everyone is pregnant now, though. Please don't rape everyone, okay? God damn it. <sighs> but yeah, literally, I don't think this is a good implication at all. Like, this seems to be literally, um,. A deviant art version of Friday Night Funkin. Like, what are you? Part of deviant art or something? You're into fetish uh, of fat people now? Is that what you're gonna say? Huh? But overall, saying that this mod isn't currently finished isn't actually uh, buying it. I'm not buying it as well. So, I guess this should be trashed. If I were you, if you want to, you know, continue working on this, don't just release a pub, don't release this as a public, you know, release. Have it as work in progress or something. All right, all right. Next, witty and more realistic. Though, so this is basically, you know, adding shaders and stuff. <sighs> like I said, mod within a mod. I really don't like this kind of concept, though. And for this one, this doesn't even look bad. I mean, it looks good, I guess. But however, I don't like the gradi gradient ideas of this stuff. You need to be as witty, so icons are out now. So yeah, I guess I'm also tired by the way. So here's the thing. Oh yeah, this one is work in progress. So this is fine. This is fine. This should be accepted because he actually submitted as a work in progress mod. And under work in progress section. So this is fine. Next, placeholder character and VS bit and rough jug. And also ink demon. So, placeholder character. I'm pretty sure that this one is over Pico, so music doesn't change a lot, so... I think this is actually a unique character design. I don't know why um, game managers, you know, let it... Oh yeah, credits. It did not credit properly. Um, placeholder. So this one, I think this is actually based off the placeholder sprite um, in Friday Night Funkin'. Like this one right here. So yeah, I think it's a cool concept to br uh, bring something that is unused, you know, come to life. I don't know, you know what I mean? Especially placeholder which would have with the you know actual body and stuff. So this is a good concept. However, you should have, you should have to f you should fix this. Okay, the both the description and the credits. After that, you're good to go. So I'm. That's pretty much it. Next is VS Bit. I don't know who is Bit. A reskin of FNF that's over Pico featuring Bit Tano. While in the stroll across, so th there's actually plot. I don't care about the plot. So Kitano does what Nintendo don't. So it seems to be just a reskin, uh, an OC character. I don't know who who Bit is. Bit Kitano, an artist uh, character. It is an OC character. So there's a thing about uh, the site rules regarding you know having personalized mods, and this includes um, OCs uh, right here in quality control. No submission that are intended for private use by an individual or small group by way of their identifying marks. Submission must have general or niche appeal. So here, um, usefulness, mod's usefulness is defined as a general or niche mod that has general utility and would feasibly exist in any private mod collection. Here's an example. 
You won't keep and use a mod that was personalized to someone else that had ever that had their avatar and username. You feasibly could keep a training map and uh, that was created and intended for a clan private clan's private training and you're not part of the clan nor have you heard of the clan. So here are some examples. Um, the things that are not allowed. A spray or skin that consists of a friend's username or personal avatar that they ask for. So this one seems to break the first, you know, first part of the example um, right here. This is literally a OC mod um, based of his own, you know, persona, I guess. So that that's not allowed. I'm sorry. This should be trashed. Um, if there's any effort for this other than backgrounds and stuff, let's say custom music. Okay, that's fine. But having your OC like this, it's not a good idea. I don't think there's a good idea to share your demo, uh, share your OCs, you know, right there. If it's your, if it's an avatar, if it's an OC based on a video game, uh, if it's an avatar that you created from a different video game, I think it's valid. Like bacon hair from Roblox. This is not an original. This is not. No, this is an original character. This is not a generic Roblox character, to say the least. And it seems people, you know, re, um, thought of it like as a Roblox character. Me, I made my uh, my first, you know, uh, first mod as a texture mod based of my RuneScape account, which is more likely this was before you know the enforcement of personalization mods by the way so this was before personalization exists my mod exists way back in 2017 well the personalization wiki exists six months ago way back on october so i don't think that counts because that's an old mod and it should be stay like this but for newer mods that that are after the personalization stuff i don't think that you're allowed to submit any OCs anymore so yeah this one should be trashed I'm sorry I know you have a lot of effort making these kind of skins but you should know that OCs are li literally illegal uh, unless unless there's some a lot of effort putting into it by the way so next is Ray Jug charted so Ray Jug <coughs> Nothing used in this mod owned by me. Check the credit section for full credits. The Rub Jug mod, uh, meme song by Mike Gino uh, charted over top of Zavo Savadilla, playable in game, featuring all three difficulties. Note the chart were made inside of the mid fight mass is executable, and such are only player playable insides of the ver of that version. The Google Drive link below has a zip file. You would rather use the format. So this still requires a servant, uh, servant test, um, mid fight masses uh, mod. So if this is just a recharted mod, again, why not just submit that to the original R uh, modder uh, so that they could actually implement that in the next update. Next is the ink demon over lemon demon minus. So this is a mod within another mod again Three, two, one. Ah. I guess this is fine probably since this is based of inky and the you know I mean not inky sorry bendy and the ink machine um, demons the ink demons so I guess this is fine. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Another thing, it seems he doesn't include like fixing the UI and stuff. So, but since this is a work in progress, I guess this counts. But there's no need of it anymore since he already finished that mod. So on to the next one. Next is stock photo mom. Don't worry, I'm gonna finish it as soon as possible. By the way, so 
bam 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 so stock photo mom uses literally google images um stock photos my only concern about this uh not only the credits because you know the credits are i guess a little bit fine and uh, description i guess is self-explanatory but my only cons uh, my only complaint not concern complaint is that it is not good at removing some of the stuff you can clearly see a camera right there and then you can also see this and then you can also see the white background in the hair and then you can also see that some parts are cut and then there's still this one and this one and then there's also this one this is a mess i guess withheld uh, until your mod won't be you know ex uh, approved unless you fix this kind of error if it's intentional may i bring this to the to the site rules now hmm? this has been mentioned in the site rules about quality control no deliberately low quality or low effort submissions we always want to be a place where beginners can submit their content uh, content and learn However, if a submission is considered to have been made well, deliberately of poor quality, it may be removed. And this stock photo is pretty much low quality. Like, you even cut off the arm, uh, the hands right there. This is bad. This is literally bad. This too. This is bad. Try to fix things up, alright? This is a little bit lacky. Now, once you remove them, I don't care if you say you don't know how to edit uh, stuff, okay, you're new to this. Try to learn things from yourself before submitting this mod then, alright? So this one should get withheld, so anyways, next one is 3M Challenge. This is a skin mod um, of Ghost Pico. So I guess Pico is actually dead in this realm. <laughs> and then you, oh, you're actually in the high school by the way. <laughs> Ooh, spooky! Oh my god! When boyfriend and girlfriend decided to stay at an abandoned school to do the 3 p 3 a.m. challenge, they weren't expecting to start a rap competition with a ghost. Ooh, AUs! I don't really like AUs, by the way. Also, I want to bring this up. This and this. This is actually a separate mod. So, first, Tankman is Among Us. So, we're gonna take a look at the mod here. The in-game. So here's my only complaint. Um, it's really low quality. You can clearly tell that it's really low quality. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah, sure, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us. It's not funny anymore, and honestly. The more you're gonna keep using Among Us, the more unfunny the game, uh, you know, this, the joke is now. But this is the problem for little kids nowadays because they always just, you know, recycle unfunny jokes because they're edgy and angy and stuff. And the worst part is that he's actually playing it in the mobile version. Why bother playing in the mobile version? Oh my god. I don't think people who try to mod shit up using, the, using their cell phones, I don't think it's a good idea. So in any case, this Among Us tank, uh, tank man, should and will be automatically deleted and erased from existence. Like literally, especially the in-game screenshot is bad. This is literally just a cropped up, you know, uh, literally just Microsoft Paint, <laughs> uh, fill bucket to the entire body with red, and then just redraw the, you know, the visor and stuff. This one, this is literally just Tankman's body being colored red. Like literally, this is bad. I don't care if you don't know if you don't have a computer. That's not my problem. That's not even everyone's problem. This is your problem. If you don't have a computer, don't bother mod the game because mod, trying to replace textures or edit textures using mobile mobile devices isn't a good idea. It's not. Uh, it's not feasible. Uh, honestly it's not a good you know good way that's not my problem if you don't have a computer 
you're already you know grown up unless you're a little little child if you're a little child I really want to check your YouTube channel yeah the, everything is all made up in on mobile devices to say the least and this is literally a child um, making mods I don't think this kind of this kid should be allowed in game banana at all not only his mod will get you know trash but also his account will also get banned <laughs> fix things up all right next is the doge crying over pico this is a mod replacing pico with teams i don't know have you ever thought gee i want somebody make doja skin in fnf well i did so if this is just literally you know uh doge doing the same post over and over again i don't think it deserves this is literally just overlapping the doge uh, the dog you know uh image with pico holding a water bottle and a mic so i don't think this this, this is deserving they should get trashed in the trash bin so I don't care next is Lil Lila over skid and pump so spooky monk kids so mm. this is a mod made for fun that was born from a small idea that seems that seemed good to me I really like the design and hope you all like it too So for those who don't know it's Lila, she this is actually the spooky kid um mom. Skid's mom by the way. Ah, oh, so she's dressing up as a ghost. This is actually a nice skin to be honest. This is actually a nice concept. I don't know why two managers uh, have to trash this one when this one is actually based on the spooky month kids all right I mean spooky month you know uh, kids mom although a little tid, uh, tip I think he have to credit uh, the where the character came from no one knows sir singer Pello. no one knows who sir Pello is so please you know credit him as well that the original you know the character is based of you know skid and pa, uh, skid's mom uh, her name is Lila so yeah try to think of that so overall uh, and once you fix this up uh, I think it should be approved so next Friday night poop shitting this one is a shit post pretty much literally black and white stuff all right this mod was made as a tribute to the greatest band ever existed the poop shitters who and how are they popular by the greatest band ever exist exist the poop shitters literally who who the hell are they do they have a lot of subscribers six thousand isn't enough called this a greatest bam i mean greatest band they must be joking and this is literally just a crappy mod made by him himself let's take a look at this all right so yeah this is just literally black and white version of the characters <laughs> Yeah, I think the music is fine, I guess, but literally. So the music is fine. The problem is the qual uh, the quality of the mod. If you think if th you think this is uh, all right or intentional, because this is supposed to look like that, because it's called Friday Night Poop Shitting. I don't think it deserves. Remember the rules. If you don't follow the rules, I guess you'll get the boot. Alright? Alright. 
No one cares who you are. This is what all the best uh, every catalog. Uh, okay, not. It's a work of art. It's not enough, and it's more than a masterpiece. Did, are they not be shitting me? <laughs> you shitting me? <laughs> I mean, honestly, if this is actually fine, yeah, sure, it's fine. But honestly, if the quality is like this, I don't think it do, it's deserving. Like literally, these are blurred out, like more pixelated, blurred out, and the rest of them is just black and uh, like. Now filling in the hue uh, right there, like the the saturation. Sorry, the hue. Sorry, hue. Not hue. Sorry, saturation. My bad. What I meant, saturation, and also levels. So I don't think it's a good idea. So overall, the music is fine because you know, chip tune is fine, but for the quality of the mod to look like that, I don't think it's deserving. But don't be too narcissistic for calling yourself being the greatest, alright? Alright, last last part. Um, witty. I'm not going to cover the next page, by the way, because later on it's going to be updated within like a few minutes or so. So next is witty with no body. Oh god, oh fuck. So here's the thing. Fix the title. Second, this is a work in progress, so it's fine. Third, I don't think there's third because this is literally a work in progress. But overall, just please update the mod a little bit. All right, it's already been seventeen days and you haven't actually, you know, made any changes. What's next? You're actually online but never actually fit. Yeah, you did go online but you did not actually finish working on this mod. Oh my god. Next, Spanish me morning, Derka Bloda mod. No one knows who they are. Please don't bring them up. So, Derka Bloda is a YouTuber, Hispano, has a hablante que ha tenido, tenido muchos momentos epi, ep, epicos y graciosos. Es la historia en su canal. So, basically, this is just, you know, this is just another YouTuber and stuff. Oh my god. So since there is no description of who they are, other than you know, the Spanish description, I don't think this is deserving. I'm sorry, but to say the least, if you really want to release this mod, just don't do this kind of stuff as the title, all right? Just do this, all right? Look, watch this, watch this. Um, notepad. The yes the and then inserts Espanol like that all right <laughs> oh my god I'm so goddamn tired so it's like this all right just do that fix the title also fix the credits as well and that's pretty much it next is fun size witty plus ballistic version mod now here's a thing that I don't really like because I already mentioned it before I don't like you know people making mods out of mods uh, then out of you know from the game and stuff but I don't get the ballistic witty or the mini fun size witty stuff like really don't do that now it's so annoying that you know having a lot of uh, boyfriend recallers I th like isn't there already a fun size witty mod before yeah there it is why not just send that file to the original like I already said that you can just send the file to the original this is not your original idea you just you know make things up for your own you know I really don't like this kind of you know um, idea like creating this mod 
to make a better version of the original mod which is also another uh, which is a smaller version of the other mod which is a mod for the original game fun size way I don't really understand why non earth people have to make this stuff like literally you could just send a file to this guy all right you don't have to you don't really have to you don't really have to next the great papyrus um, this one is a mod a uh, game file mod so the great papyrus in sans mod is finally here after version and version is here so there's also another another AU I don't get why people want to make AU and stuff like this is a, you know a plot of a fandom it's so annoying I don't really like seeing this kind of fandom you know making AUs and fanfic out of characters and stuff you know that it's kind of annoying now for this one since there is no implication of a video to see the gameplay this should be trash worthy or actually um, withheld worthy like really this is lackluster no it won't get accepted unless this person have to fix shit up all right if he don't fix shit up then I don't think he's gonna get his mod pass so that's pretty much it for this video it's already been an hour recording this stuff it's already 10 o'clock are you kidding me so anyway guys, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you do enjoy it. That's all. Alright? I'm tired. Thank you and goodbye.